All right guys, what's up? My name is Chris Winter, The Friendly Entrepreneur, and in this video, I wanna share with you five side hustles that you can start pretty much today and start earning a little bit of cash on the side of your main job. Now, all of these side hustles here can be done pretty much on your phone or on your computer. They're not gonna involve a lot of physical work, but I wanna give you a couple of tips on how you can pretty much implement all of these side hustles and hopefully you can make you know, extra $50 a day, $100 a day, it might be $20 a day, it might be $500 a day. A lot of these you can actually do that. So uh, yeah, these are gonna be some really good side hustles that you can pretty much do from anywhere in the world. Now before we jump into it guys, if you want a much deeper and longer list, I've actually gone and created a top 50 side hustles list and if you wanna check that out, I'll put a link in the description box below and you can check it out. It's a really good list and uh, yeah, that'll be awesome if you wanna really uh, deep dive into this topic. But anyway, let's take a look at some of the best side hustles you can do this year. Okay, so the first side hustle that I would recommend is opening up an e-commerce store. And what is an e-commerce store? Well, it's essentially a website where you can sell products or services, uh, digital products, pretty much anything. So the number one uh, kind of e-commerce website in the world is called Shopify. You might've heard of it, you might not have. I've been using Shopify for around about five years and it's fantastic. It's super easy to use. Uh, compared to a few years ago, creating a website, you don't really need to know a lot of code. You don't need to know a lot of HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and all that kind of good stuff. These days, it's a lot more drag and drop. They've got templates and things like this. So you can build a website super easy in about 10 minutes, pretty much, uh, and have, <clears throat> sorry, have it ready and uh, good to go straight away. By the way, guys, the great thing about Shopify is that you can get a free trial. Uh, it's a 14 day free trial, so you don't even have to have a credit card to sign up with. You can go in there, play around with the templates and things like that. It's pretty awesome. I think millions of people actually use Shopify, so it's definitely worth it. I'll put a link in the description box below if you wanna check that out. So what could you sell for your side hustle? Well, there's so many different things that you could sell and you don't actually have to kind of produce a product these days. Uh, because there are different options in which you can kind of sell other people's goods. So uh, essentially what I would recommend is either selling a digital product, like a digital download, or selling uh, through drop, drop shipping. So let's talk about the first one here. You could sell a digital product, and I actually do this myself with a thing called Insta presets, and I sell Lightroom presets, which are essentially uh, settings for your photos. So uh, you know how on Instagram you can kind of go through your photos and you can kind of adjust the settings, the contrast and saturation and things like that. Well essentially what I do is take that whole no another level and do it for a program called Lightroom and I sell these presets for around about 30 to $40 for a pack of 30 presets. Now those presets might take me an hour to make but once they're up on my website it's pretty much all profit. So people can download these presets, apply them to their photos, and then essentially uh, they're good to go and their photos will kind of pop and look really, really good uh, with those presets. For example, if you don't know photography though, or editing, you could sell maybe, um, you could sell some tutorials or like a guide or something to something that you're good at. So you could create a PDF, you could just open up Microsoft Word uh, and just create a guide about, you know, how to, um, you know, how to shoot a basketball better. If you're a good basketball player, you could, you know, have a top 10 guide of the best way to, uh, you know, dribble better. Or if you're a, wo a woman, you might be able to uh, have a guide for a, uh, how to knit, you know, better or how to start a knitting business or something like that. There's so many different ways in which you can do it. And the great thing about digital downloads is that they are pretty much all profit and there's no kind of upkeep that you really need to do. So uh, I could actually create a full on video if you guys want me to do this, but um, essentially with Shopify, you can just upload a digital product. People go to your website, download it, and you get paid through PayPal or Stripe. Super easy like that. Now I wanna to touch on the other option that I was telling you about. This one's a little bit more complex, but again, it's kind of one of these autopilot ones. It's kind of a passive income once you've set it up. It's called drop shipping. And essentially what drop shipping is, is where you have your website and you'll go to a website like Alibaba or AliExpress.com. That's like China's kind of eBay. Um, and essentially what you will do is you'll find these products, put them on your website uh, using a, a site called Aberlo and uh, essentially you will allow people to buy them from your website. That information will go to AliExpress, to the people in China, and then they will do all the rest of the, the thing. They will send over the, uh, the product to the person. Uh, they will pretty much handle all the kind of the shipping and all that kind of good stuff. And then essentially you just get paid 
uh, and they take a cut. So it's super, super awesome if you can get it set up. I'm gonna make a lot more videos on Shopify dropshipping uh, in the future, but it is definitely something that you can do in your kind of uh, free time because just think about it, you don't actually have to be there with your product, you don't have to actually manufacture the product, you don't have to store the product, you don't have to package it, you don't have to ship it off. All you pretty much do is market your product and uh, maybe do a little bit of customer service, but that's definitely one thing that you can do uh, as a side hustle. By the way guys, if you do enjoy this video, I'd love it if you leave a thumbs up. These take me a long time to produce uh, and I really appreciate it if you leave that thumbs up. But anyway, let's get back into the best side hustles of 2019. Okay, so the next thing that I wanna talk about and another side hustle that you can do is to start a YouTube channel. And this is something I'm super passionate about because I've been doing YouTube for around about five years. Now, uh, if you're new to my channel, you probably won't know that I actually have a second channel, which is a lot bigger than this. Uh, that one's got 340,000 subscribers. It's about cameras and photography, as you might have guessed, because I uh, make those presets. But um, essentially, what you can do is start a YouTube channel and use this as a way of uh, getting some eyeballs or an audience onto your product that you can end up selling. So, uh, a lot of people get kind of scared off by YouTube because there's so many people on the platform these days. You know, there's millions and millions of hours of uh, video being uploaded every day. But don't be scared of it because when uh, you just get started, things start happening and things start turning out really, really good. So essentially what I would want you to do is to start a channel with a certain niche. Now, what is a niche? Well, it's essentially like a topic like photography, you know, knitting, basketball, something like that. And then build an audience, start making videos. Don't worry about how many views they're getting. Don't worry about the likes and the comments and things like that. Just start it. And then you'll notice that you'll gradually start to uh, you know, build a community around your channel. And this is really, really cool because it allows you to get people who love your stuff. They really trust you. And then once you have that kind of product that you want to be able to sell, it might be your digital product on Shopify. It might be your uh, something else that we'll talk about soon then you can kind of share that with them and those people will be really happy to buy from you because uh, you've essentially provided them with so much value on these kind of videos that you've been making on Shopify. So let's take an example of a, um, like, like a craft channel. So uh, I know a lot of uh, women like to do crafts, a lot of men like to do crafts as well. You could essentially do tutorials on how to, you know, do like certain arts and crafts. So it might be like a five minute tutorial on how to uh, do some knitting, or it might be a five minute tutorial on how to build like a, a vision board or something like that. That video, even though you might, might be a small channel, that video could get 50,000 views, 100,000 views. Some of my videos have had over a million views and you know, you never even think about it because I was a small channel when those videos were made. So. And what, what's really important is that you think that those views are actually people and those people there, they might really love your stuff. And if you're gonna be offering something that can make their life a little bit easier, so it might be that guide on how to do uh, some arts and crafts, it's gonna be awesome. So definitely think about starting a YouTube channel. There's so many different possibilities. It's, it's so awesome because uh, if you've ever come from kind of a marketing background, you understand just how much it costs to get your product in front of people. With YouTube, it's free. So. On my second channel, I mean, on my other channel, I get like 50,000 people watching my videos a day. That's 50,000 people that I would have to pay for if I was doing advertising, but it's totally free and I can send them to wherever I really want uh, and everyone wins. So definitely start a YouTube channel. If you haven't uh, kind of started one yet, just start one today. Uh, you will never regret it. It is an absolutely awesome way of doing a side hustle. Okay, another way in which you can make a little bit of extra money on the side is through a website called upwork.com. So Upwork.com is essentially the biggest way or the biggest website where you can kind of hire yourself out as a freelancer. So freelancing is where you're not on a contract, you're kind of a contractor. So you could uh, maybe be a virtual assistant. For example, I have I hire a number of different virtual assistants on Upwork. They help me out with different tasks like posting to social media, uh, helping with my emails, uh, calendars and things like that. So essentially what you could do is do this in your side time. So you could go on Upwork and create your profile. And the way that it would work is that you would, uh, you know, apply for different jobs that people have got. So with Upwork, you could maybe uh, say that your rate is gonna be $15 an hour, $20 an hour, $5 an hour if you're in a country where 
uh, the pay is a little bit less. You can even do up to you know, $50, $100 an hour. Sometimes I've hired people for over $100 an hour uh, to help me with things like you know, legal questions and tax and all of that. So it doesn't have to be super cheap kind of payments. Essentially what it is is just allowing you to get a job without having to pretty much do the whole job process and be on that kind of contract system. So there's so many different uh, kind of things that you can offer on Upwork. There's uh, you know, just pretty much everything that you can kind of maybe that you're good at just check out upwork.com. It's really, really good and it allows you to you know, get that little bit of a side hustle and you do it all from your phone, you do it all from your computer. It's super easy, but you don't actually have to be there in person. So Upwork is definitely one uh, website that I would check out as well. All right, so another website I'd definitely check out is called Etsy. Uh, you might have heard of Etsy. I've actually used Etsy a fair bit over the last few years. Essentially what Etsy is, is like an online marketplace. So think of something like eBay but more for things that people have created themselves. So uh, that might be, you know, physical items. It might be things like, um, you know, you create your own like board game or you create your own little like sculpture or something like that. Or it can be for digital items as well. I've sold my Lightroom presets on Etsy as well. You can, you can just upload your files on there and people can download them. It's essentially like having your own Shopify site but the difference is there are already people going to that site. So there are already people going there wanting to buy something and if you show up there, it's pretty much awesome and then you can just uh, get paid. So what could you sell on Etsy? Well, again, let's kind of think of that kind of craft kind of way. Uh, you could be selling you know, a guide on how to uh, do arts and crafts in you know, 10 minutes, become a better person at it. Uh, you could also sell you know, your artwork that you've created. Maybe you're a painter, you're a, uh, you might make a custom painting about someone's favorite TV show. All of these different things, essentially, if you can think about it, you can definitely create it and get it sold on Etsy. So you could also sell things like t-shirts. Uh, Etsy is quite a, a big marketplace on t-shirts uh, and that's definitely something you could do. But I mean, the, what I want you to start thinking is, okay, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna look at the Etsy website, then I'm gonna go there, see what's actually selling, and then think, okay, what can I do to kind of uh, bring my, my style and my flair to Etsy. So essentially what I just recommend is going over to Etsy, starting and like doing a little bit of research, seeing what's over there and uh, yeah, get started on there. But that's definitely another way in which you can kind of sell your products. It's all online. You don't actually have to be physically there. You don't have to create like a brick and mortar store. Totally possible. Etsy is another way to make some money through a side hustle in 2019. All right, and another way is to help people out with your social media. So if you're on YouTube, there's a good chance that you've got other social media accounts. You probably, uh, if you've actually created a YouTube account, you're probably a lot more advanced than most other people. And what you can do is hire yourself out as their kind of social media consultant or you know, just helping them out with their social media. So what you could do is go to you know, small businesses uh, in your neighborhood, maybe your dentist, your lawyer, uh, you know, your uh, your local flower shop or something, they might not be super good at using things like Instagram and YouTube and Facebook and even Snapchat and things like that. And what you can do is maybe say, oh look, for $200 a month or $400 a month or you know, $50 a week, I'll make sure that I'm posting uh, things for your social media accounts. So, I mean, essentially you guys probably post things for your own social media accounts. How hard is it to post for someone else's? So um, this is a great way of making a little bit of side hustle money. Uh, and I mean, it's, it's a really cool thing because if you start this off with one business, let's say you're making $500 a month for that one business, well then you can just duplicate it for the business next door for the other lawyer or the other dentist, and then you're making $1,000 a month. What if you've got five? Well, then you're making $2,500 a month as a side hustle, pretty much just working from your phone, just uploading a few photos, maybe uh, you know, thinking about doing some video or something like that. Maybe you're applying to uh, your, the, the business's customers and things like that, super easy. You're gonna be on social media anyway. That's definitely a way in which you can make a little bit of extra money as well. All right guys, if you made it this far, that is absolutely awesome. But if you wanna uh, download my guide to the best side hustles, I'll put a link in the description box below. It's definitely worth your time and it will uh, really be awesome. Hope you guys have a fantastic day and I'll see you in the next video. Good luck side hustling this year.